Hey guys, Zix here. Time for the next tutorial of a Crazy Craft. Now this one can work for either Crazy Craft 3 or Crazy Craft 4. Just a few little minor, little minor little tweaks and changes uh, to work in both of the mod packs. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to get all of the legendary pets from the legendary pet mod. You can see them right here. We have the slime pet, which can be found in a forest. We have the cloud pet, which can be found on a cloud. We have the pufferfish pet, which is in the water in a little sandbox. And then we have the black hole pet, which is potentially the best pet. Um, it slows down time for the enemy. That can be very useful. This one, we can be found in a dungeon underneath the ground. The pupper, pupper fish is thorns and poison, so when you take damage, it gives thor damages the enemy. Cloud pet is permanent flight, which is very, very useful. And then the slime pet, which saves you from certain death. Um, the slime pet, pet's a little bit weird. It doesn't work exactly as you would think. Uh, it... If you were going to take 10 hearts of damage is when the slime pet does its thing. So even if you have really op armor on, um, it will still it will still use up durability and eat your golden apples. Um, so keep that in mind. If you really only want to use the slime pet on bosses that hit really hard. Uh, otherwise, you're going to burn through your, your golden apples pretty quick. Before we go, there's a few things that we need to take with us. First... Make sure you have a lot of backpacks. You're going to be picking up a lot of stuff while you're doing this. Second, have a lot of food. Third, you're going to want decent gear because some of the places we're going is not very safe. And weapons and tools. Uh, you, three, four, four. You want a chainsaw. Five, we're going to bring some torches. We don't need that many. And six, we're going to bring a golden apple. Seven, we need a silk touch pick. And eight, I think I said eight already backpack no we need a, a way to fly uh there's a lot of different ways uh to be able to fly in crazy craft both crazy craft 3 and crazy cat craft 4 uh so pick which one you want just be careful not all of them are going to get you up high enough to get to the clouds so the cloud pet is going to be the first one we're going to go after and what i am going to do we're going to find the first cloud together there's one. All right. Okay. So when you first approach the cloud, keep in mind um, that blazes are going to spawn. Are they, are they going to? There he is. So be prepared for that. They are going to come. Then we're going to check the chest. There's going to be a lot of crap in here that you probably don't need. Um, but the reason why it throws this stuff in is because certain pets eat these as food. So what I do is I just break the blocks and we don't need to fight you, but I will anyway. Uh, and then fly away until we can find our next... Oh, actually, I almost forgot. The reason why we brought the Silk Touch Pick is because we're going to pick up these blocks. And that will become apparent later. But you guys, on your own time, pick up these blocks. Gather them all uh, for the, from the whole cloud. You're probably going to do this for a couple of clouds. Uh, you do have to use the Silk Touch Pick if you use... <laughs> if you use anything but a silk touch pitch, uh, they're gonna they're pitch. They're gonna break. Uh, so use a silk touch pick, which is very easy to make. Three emeralds and two sticks, and you're good to go. You do not need to enchant. So I will see you guys. Now I'm gonna continue to do this. Hey, hey! I'm gonna continue my hunt until I find the cloud pet. Who knows how long that will take? It is a rare. Kind of a rare find, but it you will find it if you look for long enough. So I will be right back. All right, what have we here? Is this the magic? Hey, hey! Oh! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Here she is. Look at I have one spot available for it. We're gonna do this anyway. Um, we've been pretty productive on this trip. I found a gas pet recently that I thought was a cloud pet. It wasn't. Uh, this is not the only check the only backpack just the one i happen to open is at this given moment okay all right time for the next inventory pet um and for that we need a forest preferably a birch forest we do not want a dark oak forest in other words we don't want dark oak we want either oak or birch and the reason why is because it's very easy to see the tops of the trees there's actually two ways of going about 
getting the next pet, which is the slime pet. Now you can run through the forest with a chainsaw, like a so, and this is a method that I've used before, uh, and I have to credit Lachlan for this one. Uh, it was his idea, I believe. Or you can just be in fancy graphics and just kind of fly over top and just kind of skim the tops of trees, and you will be able to see, especially on the birch trees, when there is a chest. We don't see any yet. And if you're using a texture pack, I advise you remove the texture pack. I think I just see one. Nope, that's a piece of wood. These can be in any forest, so keep your eyes, keep your eyes peeled. They will not be on dark oak trees. So do not even worry about dark oak trees. And of course now, <clears throat> I don't see a single one. Like I said, there's you can you can do this one of two ways. There's there's a different school of thought. Um, this is really messy and destroys the landscape. You may not want to do the chainsaw tactic on a server. Um, however, there we go. Ender chest. That's one I haven't had yet. Perfect. However, uh, if you're on a single player world and you don't mind deforestation. You can, by all means, go about doing it this way. Um, but again, I don't think that you should wreck a server uh, by doing this. Uh, but it is a lot easier to know where you've been if you do the chainsaw method. Or just plan to come back later and plant a bunch of saplings in AFK or something so that uh, the tree can get back to the way it was. Um, okay, so... This is how you get, and yeah, stay away. Like, you can chop down these trees. Can you? I don't think you actually can. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, so, we're going to do this for a little bit uh, until we get the slime pet. Um, I may, may, This one I've had difficulty with in the past. Like, that cloud pet was maybe about 30 clouds, and I got it. Um, I've gone through entire forests before getting the slime pet and then I've gone through like five chests and gotten it so the, the, it's a pretty random pretty random potential uh, to find uh, but yeah I will uh, I'll be right back oh there's one right here I can't reach it whatever I don't need to oh I broke oh there he is there he is! I just cleaned my inventory too. It's perfect timing. Or oh, I thought I did. Oh, that was weird. Yay! Slime pet! Err, okay, now on to the next pet. Um, yeah, let's let's do the next one. I need to go into my backpack though. Because of the cloud blocks. Remember those cloud blocks that we saved earlier? Yeah, that was for a reason. I'm gonna dig a little hole here. And we're going to place these cloud blocks down, and we're going to be able to see... Hello. Got criminals, huh? Where'd the other one go? Doesn't matter. We're going to be able to see into the earth. And you got to look very closely. It can be hard to see, but what we're looking for is a dungeon. See any on here, but there will be vines and whatnot inside the said dungeon. Very dark. See any here. So we're going to pick these back up. Then we're going to move spots. When we're going to try again. All right. We're back. <clears throat> Something I didn't really mention um, that I meant to mention. The cloud trick really works best on Crazecraft 3. We are not on Crazecraft 3 right here. We are on Crazecraft 4. Um, we on Crazecraft 4 are going to use a slightly different method. It's actually better to go in a straight line. Uh, flight is still helpful, as is speed. We're going to go down to our mine. Uh, if you're curious at what Y level we're at, we're at 9. And we are going to use Miner's Dreams. Miner's Dreams. Now, if you have a difficult time making Miner's Dreams, just make a uh, equivalent exchange table, and it will be very easy to recreate um the materials that you need for the miner's dreams uh meaning the redstone and the um gunpowder and the cactus very easy that way 
So what we're going to do uh, is we're just going to use Minor Dreams forever until we find dungeons. This method is really the best way to do it on Crazy Craft 4. Uh, and you're going to need a lot of them. And you're probably going to end up still going back home and doing some more. Uh, I don't want to show too much of this uh, because this is super boring. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this. I should probably eat. There we go. Uh, we haven't seen one yet. I think we might actually be a little on the side. They're not going to be quite this low. Go up a little bit more here. Uh, what we're looking for is, uh, it's almost going to look like a stronghold. You're going to see cobble. Um, you're going to see uh, bricks. See any here? I may even go up a little bit higher. We're at probably about Y15 now. You're at Y15. Well, that was a good guess. Yeah, I think we're going to go up a little bit higher. This is something, but I don't think this is what we are looking for. Oh, this may be too high. Alright, where are we at here? We're at Y21. No, that's probably good. That's probably good. Whoops. We have some cobble, but that's not the cobble we are looking for. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go away and come back. And hopefully find a dungeon. And the odds of getting the black hole pet in the very first dungeon are probably extremely low. Um, but hey, maybe we'll get lucky. We'll get lucky. We're back. Well, here we go. We found it. Hey, look at that. <laughs> By the way, the zombies that spawn in here um, are pretty fast, so you want to get your torches ready, which is why we actually brought torches with us. That'll take care of that. What do we have? We have a gas pet. Exciting. It's so exciting. I don't even want it. I've already been throwing away. Um... I've been throwing away pets that I have that are duplicates. So we're not going to keep that. Uh, so 15 would have worked. Uh, 9 probably would have been okay. I'm talking about the Y axis. Ooh, I hear my favorite. Uh, but 20 gave me a nice nice clean... 20, well, I'm actually at Y21. It gave me a nice clean angle uh, to get in there. Uh, but of course, as you saw, that one... It's not the dungeon that we were looking for. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Oh, here we go. This is the one. See, it's already occupied. Oh, there's a leaf there. Whoops. Where's the chest? Here it is. Is there? No. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, hey, 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 hey. Look at that, guys. I can't believe there's not a, uh... Hey, I can't believe there's no achievement for that. Anyway, okay, we have one pet left to go. One pet left to go. So I'm going to dig straight up, because you're supposed to do that in Minecraft. Uh, and then I will see you guys. Oh, gravel makes it a little faster. I got an achievement. Bubblegum. Okay. I will see you guys above an ocean by. We will get the last legendary pet. Now we find ourselves over in open water, and contrary to popular belief, the beaches are not the best way to go to get these. You actually are going to look for open ocean, and you want to get right in here because a spider is going to spawn. He is going to poison you, so you want to get in here really quickly. You want to check the chest as quickly as possible. Uh, and this, my friend, is why we brought golden apple. There we go. What do we get? Enderman. Eh. However, the sponges. I as well grab a few sponges while we're here. Can I? No, it's not a learnable thing. Let's get out of here before we uh, die to poisoning. And, by the way... You're going to use a pickaxe to break this block. So you could just break the block behind the chest as well. 
And so you're just going to fly around open ocean and you are going to look for little boxes of sand. And inside of those little boxes of sand are going to be what we are looking for. I think I see one. I see one. I was just about to go away. If you see the hole, you can, by the way, slide straight down. Ooh. And you can open the middle block and fail miserably. Or you can, and you can just get the pet that way. I actually want raw fish. Taking breathing damage. Up we go. There we go. Hard to tell where the middle block was on that one. Because it was up against the island there. But you can you can go straight to the back, um, and as long as you have an ultimate pick or a really good pick, you can break that back block and get the chest without having to mess around with the spider. I am down to my last golden apple, so I hope we spawned already, huh? Hope I I hope that this is the place. Hey. Oh, I apparently have string on my hotbar and not torches. Hey, there he is. All right. Hey, there it is. Info has just earned the achievement legend. Info. <laughs> not, not my name, but whatever. Um, there you go, guys. That is how you get all of the inventory pets. The legendary ones, that is. The other ones, you just... Go through a forest and burn burn the thing down to the ground, uh, and then you'll get you'll get what you need there. Um, hopefully, I was able to help you guys. Uh, but let's do a quick recap. Puffer fish on both Crazy Craft Three and Crazy Craft Four. Uh, you're going to want to do this same exact thing. You're going to fly over water. Oh, there's a couple I missed. Whatever, I don't care anymore. You're going to want to fly over water, and you just have to break the block in the back that you saw me break. Um, and here, actually, let me show you the exact correct one to break, because it is consistent. It is in the same spot consistently, and this way you don't have to fight this stupid spider. It's going to be to the middle, to the right, right here. It will be behind this block, right here. Iron Golem, I don't need you. Get me out of this water. Um, and then, there you go, that's all you do there. Since we're here, we just... This is the inventory pet episode. Let's just check it out. Check it out now. What do we got? What you got? What you got for me? I don't want a jukebox. Go away. Go away. Um, the black hole pet differs slightly between Crazy Craft 3 and Crazy Craft 4. Uh, because in Crazy Craft 3... Uh-oh. I got nausea. Why do I have nausea and weakness? Doesn't matter. In Crazy Craft 3, um, you get it uh, by, you can place those cloud blocks on the ground. Crazy Craft 4, not as reliable. So what you're going to want to do is um, what you saw me do. Make hundreds of miners' dreams and just dig. Dig, 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 dig. Around Y15, Y20, somewhere in that range. Until you see st uh, um, uh, stone bricks, mossy stone bricks. There you go. Um, and be careful because there's a speedy zombie in there. Um, for the cloud pets, uh, you need to be able to fly in Crazy Craft 4. I think probably the Iron Man suit is probably going to be your best way to get there. Um, of course, if you have Legends mod, and I think you're crazy if you have Legends mod, you, it may not be so easy because I think you have to get the Stark workbench to get the Iron Man. But in Crazy Craft 3, you can just make Transformers which are actually a lot easier, uh, a lot easier, much easier method uh, is, is to do it that way. Um, and I think, I think that was all of the pets, right? Slime pet, trees. Um, is he mad at me? Better not be, because I'll wreck you, dude. I'll wreck you. Um, the trees, uh, you can fly above and just kind of have a look-see. Like, here's one right here. I've already been to that chest, obviously. Um, uh, you don't really want to do a dark oak forest like this. You want to do a regular forest. Um, or you can use a chainsaw. 
uh, to run around and break a bunch of trees down. And that way, uh, you'll see the chests that are left over. Um, but that's going to do it for this tutorial. I hope you guys... Hey! I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I was able to help some of you. I saw there were a lot of tutorials online, um, and none of them encompassed all four of the legendary pets. So hopefully, hopefully I'm able to help a lot of people. That's going to do it, though. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Take it easy.